The other day, I reviewed Medal of Honor Airborne. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link to that in the description and also in my cards. And I thought I'd take a look at another old game, that being Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, which turns 20 this year. We're going to be looking at the original one. And if you guys like this with five or more likes, I may do a series or check out the other games in the Splinter Cell franchise. So without further ado, let's jump in. I don't know what it is. It's something that's just iconic about the 2002 theme for Splinter Cell. Just something that strikes you as spies. And in my words, Splinter Cell is the perfect, or at least this one was, the perfect stealth game. And before we actually do anything, I want to actually have a quick look through the one, the controls. Compared to nowadays, the controls are absolutely shocking. You've got shift being to jump or split jump which normally I would have put on space but I, oh you can remap them so I would change that one there is where is it crouch I would always have put to C interaction apparently is enter but I always have it says F to get it doesn't show you how you get your show your equipment it doesn't show you hmm oh using equip says E well originally it was um, control but they've swapped that because I changed what control was but to actually help you play it in 2022 these are probably the best yeah probably the best you can have I think and also to change zoom in and acceleration so how you run and everything like that it's wheel up and wheel down. It just feels strange. Actually, on second floor. Using equipped is that one, but... What is it to have a look at my equipment? Oh, quick inventory. It says Q. Time to go to work. Finding Agent Blaustein's our first priority. You're to locate him through a local NSA contact. I'm on my way. And stay off the streets. There's a heavy cop presence in this town. We don't have Washington's backing if this turns into an incident. Details on your offset. Every mission kind of starts the same. You get a little bit of a map telling you where you are and basically a debrief of the mission. I would have shown that exact thing, but for some reason, every time I go show it in OBS, the cutscenes end up as like a tiny part in the corner of, of OBS for some reason. Just seems better that way. Now everything should be easier to do. We've got to meet with our contact. I remember back in the day how like annoying these levels could be. Because if you let's say knock someone out and just leave the body and you you don't clean things up after yourselves. And in that sense I mean you don't hide the body. You can end up getting to a point later 
where you can be quite screwed because there will be an alarm and you only get three of those per level. Sam, Grim's daughter here. I say jump. Don't ask how high, just do it. You should get through this fine. There's a place across the hall. Go there now. Damn, sorry about that. Get back into the hall and go to the stairwell at the far end. Make it fast. You've only got a few seconds. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You mean the same stairwell that's on fire? Oh. Should. He does that. There you go. By clicking what is now control, or the crouch button, and depending on how you do it, you end up crawling across, which is quite cool. Don't know many games that actually allow Jesus, you to crawl. The close. Take a left just ahead and cut through the room. You'll find a stairwell on the opposite corner. Take it to the top floor. Oh, this way. Take the top floor, okay. Contact is in this room. Let's hope to God he's still alive. I, I keep You're gonna take using the wrong button. Uh, I'm gonna say we're gonna get you out of here. Don't bother. I'm as good as dead. We're looking for Blaustin and Madison. Yeah. Madison was deep into Nicolazza's cabin. She was onto something big. Blaustin must have figured it out. How do I find him? Blaustin's black box. Tracking the relay for his subdermals. It's stashed in his safe house just east of Morevi Square. Lambert, do we have resources to evac this guy? I said don't bother. Whatever Madison found, it's big. She kept saying proof would mean war. I think Nicolas wanted. Oh. You're gonna say just him dad. Leave the corpse for the fire. That's to explain to his family. You've got a safe exit on the west side of the room. Take it. Now what we need to do is get out of here. <laughs> There's too much smoke. Shoot out the skylights. Oh. There we go. Breathing. Doing my best. Good. Blaustein's black box is your next objective. He's running standard agency tradecraft. You'll find We're the box behind up a little bit speed, but... Who is that? Is there any way you don't fail that jump? I think yeah, this is the only way across anyway. But there will be a dude. Good gringo on. Because those on the phone are my here. Orders. I speak to Vyacheslav Grinko or nobody. As Grinko, yes, sir. This is Ketevan. We finished searching the American's apartment. There is nothing else there. If five more bugs, two cameras, and some electronics we can't ID. They're already on their way to the ministry. Of course, what we need to do? Thank you, sir. Get in the oh. About them spotting us. It could mean headshotting one of them and yeah headshotting both of them the other dude does come out in a moment if I remember right from back in the day and also when I did play this on stream the other month which if no one is following yet the link will be down in the description to them which probably will have seen the banner by now as well Yeah, you can hear his friend walking. I think it's the guy, that's the guy we can hear. Is this dude going to come out? Oh, 
Hello? Who's there? Too much trouble. I'm getting jittery. I think it's the dude down there that can hear us. Lightly. And this body's not very well hidden. You want to bring it over into the darkness. You'll know it's dark because the little meter underneath me here will be showing in the dark side of it instead of the light side of it. Ha. How the hell? How the hell? There we go. Now we have a little bit more freedom to walk around. And there is a way you can get past both of them without being spotted and then sneaking in through the window as the dude comes out. But it's just easier to take them both out. A lot easier. There's one thing I do love about this game is the fact that it's one, quite linear. Two, Okay, maybe it's not so linear because I can't find the bit we're meant to be going to. Where is it? Where's his PC? He's going to have a computer somewhere. Is it this computer? One note from Data Stick. Maybe like a red screened computer somewhere. But. Picture slides up. There we go. How they never found that, I don't know. The idiots. Dang. What's the news? Blaustein's heart stopped beating 43 hours ago. Any reason the CIA wouldn't know about this? Nope. Nice of them to share. The subdermal went offline six hours after he died. Last active position was in a police station a few blocks away. Check your ops at. Okay, so we, need, we now need the code to get out. Which... I do believe we did pick up. 091772 Zero. Zero, nine, one, seven, seven, And on PC those keypads are a little bit harder to put in because you have to aim your mouse button Hello? right above Who's where it's there? meant to be. And we'll take the zip wire along. So far we shouldn't have any problems with bodies being found or what is later uh, we need to hop down this little bit and here we are actually making a lot of progress through this mission quickly Pleasure. I'm rescinding my street level restriction we've been monitoring the police, police radio Cops are as crooked as a Virginia fence. They're not going to want any more international attention than we do. Every road is open to you. Do what you got to do to find those missing spooks. And with lock picking, it's literally just trial and error of WASD. Got to try and work out which one unlocks each pen. Each little pen. And this bit, this bit I've never actually worked out, but I have done a little bit of research into how you should be doing it. You make less noise by being crouched and jumping than if you were to jump against the wall. You're meant to come up there and do that. Every time I've done this in the past, I remember back to when I was younger. I actually never made it past here easily.
But I think they just stay there. As soon as this other officer comes back, we'll follow him off. So I don't think they'll spot us this time. Bring our speed up a little bit. I think this officer's gone and not coming back. I don't know. I will wait out a moment. Oh, he's back. I'm like hiding in these side bits. He shouldn't spot us logically. If he does, then the game teaches you at the start very wrong. Then we've got to go out there. It's risky trying to do it when he's right about to come back. So kind of it's kind of the waiting game you gotta play. I probably should have just gone straight up there originally. But it is what it is. And I'm hoping when he comes back he's not gonna spot us. We have got one bar for visibility. Which is basically like being a ghost, but not a ghost at the same time. There we go. So, once again, past all the guys out in the alley. Need to head into here if I'm right. And use this computer. And if you hear that right, the gate's just opened and I think it's two guys have just walked through it. Now, what we gotta do is go we've just gotta sneak through that gate. I think it's two guys. Or might we just be the one? Yes, yeah, just the one on this time. We are now right below the apartment we were in earlier. That cop shouldn't see us here. Shouldn't do. Come and meet with this dude. Now this dude's in our way. God damn it. Too much coffee. I'm getting jittery. What I want to do is I want to sneak into here where it's still dark. into this one. Hopefully the cop will come back past. I remember right, there's a cop on that corner as well sometimes. Well, from time to time when he walks back. We need this guy out the way. What? Something moved. This guy's in the way now. 
again. There's the guy from just now that I'm thinking of. Now, that, that cop will come back. Shouldn't spot us because, you know, we're in the dark. Darkness apparently hides that little light on his back, even though we're not technically in the dark. Looking at Sam right now. Experiment again. Come out with your hands up. So we'll just knock him out and run. Yes. We're meant to. That's the wrong jump. Climb up here. And we get another checkpoint for the precinct. Which, the first mission really puts every skill you're going to need into perspective because it makes you use the lockpick multiple times makes you use the pistol okay we need to um should have a code yeah five nine two nine five nine two nine Makes you get use key codes. This. Who in the hell are you supposed to be? Huh. Is there anybody else seeing a bionic commando? Turn out the lights. And that's him done. Get the air stick from there. Cause you never know when people are going to come in here. Hiding around the back. Thing. It's in this room again. Yeah, that room's locked. We do have a dude there. Which we don't need. Oh, yeah, we do have to go in this room. We'll knock him out. And do that. Um, what's that going to tell us? Data. Okay, so there's no big data we need to know about. But. Where is that? There it is. Take the camera out because the camera's right by us. Agents Blaustein and Madison. Rest in peace. Somebody cut out their subdermals. Where do we go from here? We follow the subdermals if we can. Hmm. There's a security camera here. Good thinking. We'll track the subdermals from the video archives. The station surveillance room is on the top floor. And the light switch for this area. Where is the light switch? Or we do this the old fashioned way. And I would also advise, now you've done that a little bit, having a checkpoint. 
because these games don't give you checkpoints often enough or well, this game at least you only get a checkpoint every time you get a loading screen and those aren't very often because that's like splitting areas but from here we need to head to the top floor which means we can move a little bit quicker but You do get this incident. Dude walks in. What we need to do is remain in the shadows. I'd like to and that's one thing I do love about this. Perhaps I can help you, sir. It relies heavily on being in the shadows. That is. How can I help you? I'd like to and in there, if you low on health then by this point, you right. could... Where? You could get a... a med cap. If you're smart enough on how to take that dude out. I don't think it's this room we're meant to be in. No. The room we're looking for is one of one of those red computers in again. It's got the red screen. What we're looking for is the stairs without alerting both these dudes. Oh. There we go. Grab the satchel off him and use the Great work, Fisher. We're scanning the videotapes now. There. That's our guy. We got him red handed. Can you run his face through Echelon? Already on it. Hey. Check it out. A license plate. 84KP214. Fantastic. Fisher, we got what we need. Rendezvous with Wilkes, your work here is done. We'll get back to you once we've sifted this intel. Then what you need to do, what we do, there's always like an evac point. It doesn't just end the mission. There is an evac point. Which for this, we're lucky is the front door. And there's our dudes to pick us up. And that is the mission complete. I will give a rating on on how I feel about this game. So I am actually filming this bit a day later. I am now going to give my review on the game because I'm mid-editing, so it's kind of fresh my mind again. The things I do want to mark it down on are controls. And the fact that most of the game you have to be patient for a certain enemy to be in a certain spot. Like you would have seen halfway through, I had to wait for the cop to come back before I could then walk round and get past him. And there's also an incident with that exact same spot. There's a guy up in the windows who can see you as well. So you kind of have to make sure he doesn't spot you and the cop that's walking around near you doesn't see you so there's two points there's having to be patient about certain enemies being in certain places controls but things i do love about it i love the fact that you have the meter for how visible you are like from one to four one being you're a ghost four being enemies will spot you straight away i love that fact i love the fact that when you're aiming your gun if you move the slightest, you then have to re-aim the weapon to that exact spot and hold it there a moment so that you get the perfect aim. I love the fact that if there's no light switches in places, you can do the alternative of shooting the lights out, which is always fun to do. There's also the fact that you can shoot the cameras as well, not to be seen. I think we only encountered one camera in this, which was easily taken out when we shot it. And another point I want to make is that the objective data is always on a red computer. So you will always have a red screen on the computer you're meant to be looking at, which is always fun to see. If I had to give it a all-time rating, it would probably be 
about a seven just for the fact that the controls and having to be patient all the time which i get it's a stealth game but the enemies need to walk a little bit quicker maybe but then it was only 2002 when this came out so it's understandable i do want to quickly say if people have enjoyed the video and they want to they can drop a like down below the like goal for this is five for it to either become a series yeah for it to become a series mainly but for now i thank you for watching i'll see everyone next time